Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are zooming. We have two trades to discuss, but I'm going to be discussing this first one, then I'll have a video out shortly after regarding the Blackhawks and the Avalanche. But yes, Andreas Janssen, we all knew that there were rumors that he would be dealt as part of a cap casualty for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and he is in fact dealt to the New Jersey Devils. The Devils have had a fantastic offseason, in my mind, between the draft itself and the recent moves in acquiring the likes of Ryan Murray for, I believe, just a fifth round pick and getting Corey Crawford add goaltending depth in that tandem between him and Mackenzie Blackwood. Now they get Andres Janssen. This is huge and all they had to give up was Joey Anderson who has been a fringe NHL player in his young career thus far. But let's break down this trade for both teams. My thoughts on this trade and who in my opinion comes out the winner. It's obviously the Devils but I do like this move for the Leafs as well because it does free up some much needed cap space. But getting right into it the Leafs they currently now have 2.3 mil in cap space they'll be working with. They just have Ilya McKay of soup as they like to call him hitting arbitration so they got to make sure they resign him and they also have to make sure that they free up cap space itself for the likes of tj brody in which i did a video on that yesterday him signing make sure to check it out if you're interested but brody of course when he was first signed the they were over the cap i believe around 1.5 mil so this helps tremendously with not not just the brody situation but mikhaev and any other moves they make this offseason i don't think kyle dubas is done yet i do think he is out of the petrangelo running but just for the sake of keeping things open until anything is official Let's keep that in mind. But let's look at um let's look at both sides of the steel too. For the Devils, they have 18.3 mil in cap space, and Janssen has a cap hit of 3.4 mil for another three years, and he has a modified no trade clause on the final year of his deal. So the Devils are taking on that entire cap hit, which is why this was really just a complete salary dump for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And in return, they bring Joey Anderson. He's a 22-year-old right um right winger. He's five foot eleven, 190 pounds, has a cap hit of 925k, and I believe he is an RFA currently. Um, um, so regardless of his situation going to the Toronto Maple Leafs, he will be competing for a fourth line spot, which he very well could get. If not, then he will be with the Toronto Marlies. He was drafted in the third round back in 2016 and in 18 games played in the National Hockey League last year for the Devils. He had four goals, two assists for six points. And in total in his NHL career in 52 games played, he has 13 points, including eight goals and five assists. And last year, splitting time between the NHL and the AHL playing for the Bainington Devils, he had 44 games played, 15 goals, 19 assists for 34 points. So a very solid player in the AHL will be interesting to see what his spot will be, if anything, with the Toronto Maple Leafs next season. But now going on to John Janssen, who I'm a huge fan of. I've always been a fan of his game. He's really been a great story coming in the NHL. He was a seventh round back, uh, seventh round draft pick back in the 2013 draft by the Toronto Maple Leafs. And he's tw only 25 years old. He has still plenty of growing to do in his game. He's five foot 10, 194 pounds. And last season, he, ha he has, of course, been dealing with some injuries. So he only played 43 games last season. He had eight goals. 13 assists for 21 points but the year prior was really his showing out party in his rookie year in, in which he had 20 goals 23 assists for 43 points so Janssen is just getting started in his NHL career quite the story for a seventh round draft pick nonetheless and uh, he's going to thrive with the New Jersey Devils I love this move for them so much they get him for literally little to nothing very similar to Ryan Murray taking on these contracts and rightfully so this is a team really to rebuild right now and Janssen is going to be huge for them in that top six already one of their best winners on the left side along with the along with the likes of Nikita Gusev and Miles Wood. I really like this move for the Devils. Huge for them to put him along the likes, not just five on five, but on the power play as well, being next to the likes of Jack Hughes and Nico Heischer. That's huge for them. So I really love it. I love that. I love Corey Crawford coming in as well. I may touch on that in a NHL for AG free agency recap video discussing all the signings but nonetheless huge moves for the devils they are really making some sound moves that i've been very impressed with big fan of regard i'm a rangers fan but look give credit where credit is due devils have really had a fantastic offseason in my mind i can't say enough good things about what they're doing and toronto kyle dubas frees up more cap space it does suck to see um Janssen leave the leafs because he is a very young up and coming forward but this is something that the Leafs ultimately had to do, and I won't be surprised if they try to free up more cap space still. They have plenty to do. Travis Dermott is another that, com that comes to mind who is due for a new contract. So we'll see what happens there, guys. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leafs and Devils fans, how do you feel about this trade? Are you happy or sad about it? Or hockey fans overall, I would love to hear all your thoughts, guys. Make sure to check out my previous videos as well, and stay tuned because I will have my video up discussing the big trade between the Colorado Avalanche and the Chicago Blackhawks shortly after I post this one. But thank you all so much, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this kind of hockey content. And I'll be back literally in just a couple minutes.